On set now for an outlook on the markets and recent Fed moves, we are joined by Iran Pelag, Chief Investment Officer of Clarity Capital. Thank you very much for being with us. Pleasure to be here. Well, how are the markets responding now to this uh, rate hike? So um, generally mixed, I would say. Initially, uh, markets went down. In recent days, they've been going up a bit. Overall, I think, um, you know, I think there was hope or an assumption that, you know, the once the Fed starts moving, that would remove actually a, a factor of uncertainty for markets. But the reality is that people immediately have moved on to focus on the next question or the next uh, uncertainty, which is really the future path of rate hikes. Right. And, and they, have they have indicated started. that they're looking to tighten further. How aggressive do you think that they're going to be in the next year? Um, not very aggressive. Uh, we can't see them tightening uh, too much, maybe an additional 50 basis points or so. Um, the U.S. economy has improved over in recent years, definitely. Unemployment has come down. Uh, but still, I mean, it's not like uh, the economy is booming. Um, growth is not stable from quarter to quarter. Uh, importantly, inflation is still low. I mean, the, the Fed's uh, inflation target is 2 percent, and we're now on their most kind of preferred measure, which is the core PCE. They're at 1.3 percent year-on-year um, increases in inflation, so they're f still far away from their target. There's no need for them to be in a rush to raise interest rates at this point. And at the same time, I mean, we're also having central banks globally around the world, whether it's in Europe or in Japan or elsewhere, China, for example, reducing interest rates. So while other central banks are reducing interest rates, it limits the, the uh, extent to which the Fed can be aggressive in raising rates because that would then, um, you know, strengthen the, the dollar a lot, which would hurt the economy. Right. And uh, interesting point here, though, there was a lot of controversy about this <clears throat> rate hike with some notable people like Nobel Laureate Paul Krugman here pointing out that the labor market was mm -hmm. still quite soft. What's your view? So I think um, I think there's uh, there's a lot of merit in those arguments. Um, I think generally speaking, probably the uh, Fed moved because you know it was more of a question of credibility. Um, they really have to move. I mean, they could have waited a couple more months. Um, it's true that the unemployment on the conventional measures has really come down. But if you look at the uh, level of participation, for example, in the in the labor market, then it really hasn't recovered to where it, where it was, you know, before the 2008 financial crisis. So that's just kind of one measure that you can look at and see some more of the softness that maybe is kind of masked when you're looking at the conventional headline uh, rates. Well, do you believe that the Fed's move was in line with the market? Markets and its expectations? Yes, it was. I mean, the market was generally expecting the Fed to move at this point. Um, so I think it was, in that sense, it was pretty much expected. I think, interestingly, what, what, um, it would be interesting to see what happens now, because now there's a big divergence between the Fed's own projections and the market's expectations for interest rates rising, where the Fed is projecting much higher interest rates in one year and two years than, than, than the market. It will be interesting to see how that is resolved. Interesting. So what should we be watching next in this next year? What does this mean for bonds? Look, I mean, I think b bonds, I mean, um, interestingly, well, interesting, or maybe n n not that interesting in the sense that, uh, you know, the, the, whatever happens to with interest rates, I mean, bonds are not, you know, offering an interesting risk reward profile. Yields are very low. Wherever you look, um, the two year Treasury yield in the US is around 1%, the 10 year is around 2.2%. You know, whether you think that interest rates are going up more or less, you know, a 2.2 percent nominal um, yield on a 10-year rate is not very attractive from an investment perspective, and that's before you take inflation into account, obviously. Fascinating. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Do very much appreciate it here. <laughs>